confirmation, confirmation, confirmation. God has shown you a new assignment and has assigned you to it. Go for it now. It is time to go for that new assignment that God has assigned to you. God, God has assigned to you. God has already assigned someone a new task, a new direction, a new new things, new things, new things. And he had already shown you these things. Go for it. This is the best time to embrace this and go for it. Some of you are warriors in the Lord. Some of you are kingdom builders. Some of you, you are, there's just a lot. Some of you are givers. Some of you are counselors. God has like, God is moving you, removing you from where you've been. Not that it was too hard for you, but it's like you've completed the assignment and now you are heading towards another assignment. Or God is increasing your assignment. Or God is multiplying, God is expanding you. So this is a time that God is reassigning some of you or assigning some of you, or appointing some of you. you have some, someone has been appointed in the spirit. Someone has been appointed in the spirit and God says, please honor this. You've been shown exactly what it's all about and how you ought to carry out this assignment. This is a confirmation from the Lord. I don't want someone to, don't come to tell me that you've not seen anything. God has already shown you. God has shown some of you your assignments through dreams, visions, uh, 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 signs around, um, revelations but some of you are still like oh you don't even know what god wants you to do god has already given you the assignment he has already shown you you are already into it god says god has to confirm to you this moment that what he showed you is exactly what you are going to be doing or it's exactly what you are all about go for it right now in jesus mighty name go for your assignment the time is right for you to embrace your assignment in christ in the name of our lord and savior christ jesus First Samuel 8 verse 12, he will, he will appoint to himself commanders of thousands and of fields, fifties, and some to do his plowing and to reap his harvest and to make his weapons of war and equipment for his chariot. So some of you have been called into a vineyard. Some of you have called to be an intercessor, a warrior in his kingdom. Some of you have called to preside over matters, over situations. Some of you have been called to do charity. Some of you have been called to just show love. Some of you have been called to gather, being apostles, prophets, teachers, pastors, evangelists. God has given some people assignment. And whatever that God has called you into, please hold it with fear. Hold it, guard it with fear and trembling. Hold it with diligence. Walk, use it. I mean, in fact, uh, uh, operate in it like there is no tomorrow, says a lot of hosts. God is still confirming to his, his word this morning that he had already called you, he had already appointed you, and he has shown you. He has shown you. And the rest are sure that he's going to be empowering you. Because he cannot call you into an office without empowering you. He cannot appoint you without equipping you. You are being equipped in Jesus' mighty name. You are being equipped for a time such as this. You are ready. You are ready. You are ready. Somebody is ready. Glory be to God. Somebody is ready to come out to carry out the duty that God has entrusted in their care. This is appointed time. Don't waste any more time in Jesus' mighty name. This is the appointed time. This is the appointed time. Do not waste any more time. It's your season to lay hold of what God has given to you. And this is going to be lasting for a very, very long. You're going to be doing this, this particular thing that you're doing right now, or you're about to do for a very, very long time. And it's going to please God's hearts. It's going to bring joy and fulfillment in the heart of those you're going to be touching. Says a lot of hosts. Thank you so much for listening. God bless you. I have been a Faith is our vehicle and love is our strength. See you in the next video.